If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, then you would have heard me talk about this a lot since the new year. And that is investing in yourself, investing in education to improve. So many students DM me on Instagram asking how you can improve as quickly as possible, get those top grades, and it's simple. The answer is you have to invest in yourself. Now you might be wondering, what on earth does that mean? And is that gonna cost me a lot of money? What I'm gonna talk you through is what I mean by investing in yourself. And no, it does not always cost money. A lot of the things I'm gonna talk you through are completely free investments. So let's find out what it means and how this can turn your grade around from a lower grade like a C or a D up to an A or an A star between now and the exams. I'm gonna start with the most important investment you can make in order to improve your grade and get an A star. And this one is completely free. This investment will cost you nothing. And that is your time. If you want to improve, it is going to cost you your time, not your money. So investing your time in your education, what does that actually mean? Basically, it's as simple as it sounds. You need to be dedicating more of your time each week to preparing and consolidating and revising. Now this value of how much time might shock you, but studies have shown that students that get A stars typically spend 10 hours per week per subject. Now, before you fall off your chair, let me explain that a bit more. What that would mean is if you're taking three A-levels, that's what this was based on, three A-levels, you're gonna spend 10 hours per A-level outside of your lesson time working on that A-level. But this includes all homework that is set, all revision for tests, all consolidation. So it's everything you would need to do for that subject per week. So what I would recommend is aim for maybe eight, and if you can get to 10, that is amazing. To make this possible, you have to use your study periods. You can only hit 10 hours per week per subject if you have study periods and if you're using those study periods. So most year 13s who take three A-levels have two to three study periods a day. If you use those for studying, that is three hours straight away. And across the five days, that is 15 hours already totaled up that you would need to be doing for all of the subjects. If you then did a couple of hours each evening and maybe a little bit of the weekend, you've hit your target. Now it does sound like a lot, but to get an A star, it does take time and dedication. And that is how the students who get A stars manage it. They do invest their time. I realise this is more difficult for some people if they have commitments to do with a part-time job because they have to financially or maybe you have to look after younger siblings or family members or maybe you're doing more A-levels than three. If that is the case, then you're going to have to take reasonable adjustments to this and just try your best. Investment number two is based on one of the challenges I'm willing to bet you have all faced at some point to varying extents and that is the ability to become distracted and to procrastinate. And the main villain for this is your mobile phone. Now I know there is a lot of valuable content online, particularly on certain YouTube channels, to help you to improve, which you might be accessing through your computer or your mobile phone. But your mobile phone is such a huge distraction. And research has actually shown that even being able to see your mobile phone even if you're not using it, it's enough to distract your brain from fully focusing on a task. So what I recommend is periods of time where you are saying, I'm gonna do one hour solid study, for example, exam questions, flashcards, make sure your phone is not even in sight and it is on silence. So that could be just in your bag, or if you know you will not be able to resist the urge of looking at your phone, then put it in another room if you are at home. Ask someone maybe to just take it away from you, put it on flight mode, shove it in a drawer, whatever it is you need to do so that you're not gonna be tempted to check it in that study slot. So this is investment number two. Invest in your education by actively trying to not get distracted and putting your phone or whatever device might be distracting you away. It can be difficult to get into that habit if you're so used to having your phone there, but trust me, when you try this, you will be amazed 
at how much more you get done in a set period of time when your phone is not near you. Investment number three is potential textbooks that you might want to buy to support you. So this is the first investment which does cost. You don't have to do this to succeed, but there are a couple of books in particular that I do think are really, really valuable and will support your learning. So if you are looking to invest in a book, you might want to choose one of these two and I'll link them both in the description below. Book number one is your textbook. Now you might not be taking AQA, you might be taking one of the other exam boards, but I personally recommend the Oxford University Press textbooks. And no, they are not sponsoring this video, they are not paying me at all. It is just a book that we personally use at my school and I think it is really, really effective. Not only does it have all of the theory, it goes through some of the math skills, some of the practical skills, and I think it summarizes it in a really clear way, and the images that they use are effective also. So that is my personal favorite, and Oxford University Press do create the A-level biology book for different exam boards. So I've got the AQA one linked below, but if you take another exam board, click that link and then you can just search to find your particular exam board instead. Now, if you're only gonna buy one book to support you with your A-levels, this is the one that I would recommend. And it is the A-level practical skills book for students. And this one is a lot cheaper than the textbook. This one you can get for 9.99 instead of around 40 pounds for the Oxford University Press book. This book, again, I'm not being sponsored to say this. I love this book. We actually bought a copy for all of our students during the pandemic, and now we loan it out to students as and when. And what this book is really good at is covering the skills that you need to know for all of the required practicals. It has sections on all of the practicals that you need. It talks you through the apparatus and technique that you could be assessed on. It talks you through how to write up that practical, how to analyze it, and it has example questions, student answers, and the actual mark scheme. So it is amazing to help you to prepare and write up the required practicals throughout the course, but also it's really, really helpful in preparing for the written exam where you will have practical questions in that paper. My next recommendation of what you can invest in is my selection of resources. Now, these resources have had so many good reviews from students saying that they used them, they saw huge amounts of progress, they improved in their confidence, they felt more in control and more. So that is why I highly recommend them as an investment to your education. Now, I do have lots that you can have a look at on my website, but what I recommend if you don't have any of the resources already and you're looking for one stop purchase to get everything you need it is my complete revision bundle now that includes everything so let me show you what that actually includes you would get my a level notes which is an equivalent of the textbook but more concise and focuses more on the key marking points and essay links for aqa alongside that you would get my active recall workbook for the entire a level also this book is lots of short answer questions and activities to really test whether you remember the information and it comes with a mark scheme. You would also get my A-level flashcards that cover the entire AQA specification. You get my A stroke A star exam technique exam questions. So that is the resource where there's a number of exam questions, student answers, and those are corrected and explained how to turn it into an A star answer to improve your exam technique. And then to help you with your organization, you also get my how to make a revision timetable with a template and my Excel tracker to help you make sure you are covering all the content in a range of ways and enough time. So yeah, it's a lot. That would be the one bundle that I'd recommend if you do really want to invest in your education and improve. And it is linked below so you can take a look. Not only that, just as a reminder, if you do receive the 16 to 19 bursary, you're entitled to 25% off all of my resources. You just need to email me at missestrick at gmail.com and send me some evidence that you received the bursary and I'll get a coupon code right to you. So which of those investments are you going to have a go at to help you to achieve that A star? 
ideally all of them, but it might pick and choose what you think is gonna be most effective for you. If you are thinking that investing your time is the big one you need to focus on, then I recommend you watch this video next. This is my video on time management and it talks you through how you can actually maximize your time every week to improve. But for now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up.